I don't know if I just like, I also like, you know, have worked at a lot of other places that like crazy things happen and nothing ever happens to me. And I always wonder if like people were so scared of my dad or I just yeah. come off like a tough chick. I don't know. Meghan McCain is an American conservative personality known for her outspoken views and strong political opinions. After all, she is the daughter of late Senator John McCain and his wife, Cindy. She was born October 23, 1984, and has grown up in a prominent political family. In 2017, she became a co-host of the daytime talk show The View, where she represented a conservative viewpoint on the show and became known for her candid and sometimes controversial discussions. She left the show in 2021 and continues to be an influential voice. But why exactly did she leave The View? I am intensely pro right. well, I'm a big Second Amendment person. I am an NRA member. Do you feel that way, that you're the lone conservative in a field of not-so-conservatives? McCain's education and early career laid the foundation for her future endeavors. She attended Columbia University, studying art history and graduating in 2007. Her academic background, combined with her interest in politics, led her to pursue a career in media. She began her public career as a blogger, chronicling her experiences on her father's 2008 presidential campaign through her blog, McCain Blogette. This platform allowed her to share behind-the-scenes insights and personal stories, presenting a unique perspective on the campaign trail. Her blog gained attention for its candid and unfiltered style, setting the tone for her later work. Following the 2008 election, McCain expanded her media presence by writing columns for publications like The Daily Beast. Her work often explored political and social issues where she expressed her views on various topics including conservatism, feminism, and LGBTQ plus rights. Her commentary stood out for its willingness to challenge traditional conservative norms, reflecting a more progressive stance within the Republican Party. This approach sometimes put her at odds with other conservative commentators, but it also garnered her a distinct voice in the political media landscape. In 2010, McCain published her first book, Dirty Sexy Politics, a memoir that provided an insider's look at her experiences during the 2008 campaign. The book offered her personal insights and critiques of the Republican Party, highlighting her struggles with its direction and leadership. Dirty Sexy Politics was both a critical and commercial success, establishing her as a significant voice in political discourse. She followed up with America, You Sexy Bitch, A Love Letter to Freedom, co-written with comedian Michael Ian Black, where they explored the diversity of American political opinions by traveling across the country. Megan's career took a significant turn in 2017 when she joined the cast of the popular daytime talk show The View. As a co-host, she brought a conservative perspective to the table, often engaging in spirited debates with her more liberal colleagues. Her time on The View was marked by her outspoken nature and willingness to tackle controversial topics head-on. McCain became known for her ability to articulate conservative viewpoints while also being critical of the Republican Party. One of her strengths on The View was her ability to provide a unique perspective on issues due to her personal background and experiences. As the daughter of a prominent senator, she often drew on her upbringing and family experiences to add depth to discussions. Her passionate defense of her views, combined with her willingness to engage in robust debate, earned her praise and criticism from viewers and commentators alike. Her tenure on the show helped her build a loyal following among conservative viewers who appreciated her candor and commitment to her principles. Beyond her role on The View, McCain continued to write and speak on political issues. She contributed to various publications and made appearances on other news programs, further establishing her as a prominent voice in American media. Her achievements on The View are notable for bringing a fresh and independent conservative perspective to mainstream media. She successfully navigated the challenges of being a conservative voice on a predominantly liberal platform, often standing her ground in heated discussions. Her ability to articulate her views with clarity and conviction resonated with many viewers, making her one of the most talked about and influential figures on the show. The View is Gone a lot of questions saying if it was so toxic at The View, why does your mom come on and co-host and why do you want SE to maybe be the next co-host? Meghan McCain's tenure on The View was a significant chapter in her career, catapulting her to a level of fame and recognition she hadn't previously experienced. But her departure from the show in July 2021 was marked by controversy and candid revelations about the show's working environment, which she described as toxic. 
One of the most notable aspects of her experience on The View was her ongoing feud with Joy Behar, one of the show's long-standing liberal hosts. The clashes between McCain and Behar became a hallmark of the program, drawing significant attention from viewers and media alike. Their disagreements often centered around political issues, with McCain representing a conservative viewpoint and Behar a liberal one. The tension between the two was palpable, frequently resulting in heated exchanges that sometimes spilled over into personal territory. McCain has been open about how these on-air disputes with Behar and others affected her. In various interviews and statements, she's described feeling isolated and unsupported, particularly as the only conservative on the panel after Abby Huntsman's departure. The lack of ideological balance, McCain argued, sometimes made her feel like a lone voice, leading to feelings of frustration and alienation. The dynamic with Behar was especially challenging, as their disagreements were not just professional, but often felt personal, contributing to a hostile atmosphere. The strain of these interactions and the broader working environment took a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. In her memoir, Bad Republican, McCain described the atmosphere at The View as toxic, citing specific incidents where she felt belittled and undermined. She recounted moments when she felt ganged up on by other co-hosts, leaving her feeling vulnerable and unsupported. This toxicity, McCain noted, was exacerbated by the intense public scrutiny the show received, with every disagreement and comment being analyzed and criticized by the media and the public. Her decision to leave was also influenced by personal factors. She had recently become a mother and was navigating the complexities of parenthood during the COVID pandemic. The pandemic itself changed the dynamics of the show, with remote filming adding another layer of stress. Being away from the studio and working remotely from Washington, D.C. gave McCain a different perspective on her career and priorities. She realized the stress of the show was not conducive to her well-being or being the kind of mother she wanted to be. In July 2021, she announced her departure from The View, stating it was time for her to move on. In her announcement, she emphasized the importance of being closer to her family and focusing on new opportunities. While she expressed gratitude for her time on the show and the platform it provided, she also made it clear the decision was motivated by the need to protect her mental health and personal well-being. Her exit marked the end of a significant era for the show. Her presence had brought a unique and often controversial perspective, sparking discussions that resonated with many viewers, particularly those who felt underrepresented in mainstream media. But her departure also highlighted the challenges of being a conservative voice in a predominantly liberal space, especially in the current polarized political climate. Since leaving The View, Megan has continued to speak out about her experiences and the reasons behind her decision. She's used her platform to discuss broader issues of workplace toxicity and the importance of mental health, advocating for a more supportive and balanced approach in media environments. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think The View isn't the same since Megan's departure? Let us know in the comments section below.